football has been played at Weber State in some form for nearly 100 years and 55 years at the NCAA Division I level. But in all those years, there has never been a season greater than the 2017 Weber State football season. From August to December, this group of players accomplished multiple things never before seen at Weber State. When the dust settled, the historic season included a school record in wins, a Big Sky title, two FCS playoff wins, and the highest ranking in school history. The season began with the Wildcats picked to finish fifth in the conference preseason polls. Head coach Jay Hill returned for his fourth season, and the Wildcats opened practice August 1st, and coming off a playoff appearance in 2016, expectations were high for the upcoming season. The record-setting season began with a historic season opener as the Wildcats set a school record for points in a game in a 76 to nothing win over Montana Western. Weaver State scored on nearly every possession and jumped out to a 48 to nothing lead at halftime. It was also the largest margin of victory in school history. The next week, the competition and site changed as the Wildcats headed to Berkeley, California to take on the Cal Bears of the Pac-12. The Cats weren't afraid of the Bears and jumped out to a 10-7 lead and then led 20-17 heading into the fourth quarter before falling 33-20. Stephen Cantwell accounted for 491 yards of total offense in the game, the most ever by a Wildcat against an FBS opponent. It was back to Northern California the next week to take on Sacramento State in a non-conference game. The Wildcats got off to a tremendous start against the Hornets scoring three touchdowns in the first 20 minutes of the game, with two catches from Stephen Cantwell to Drew Batchelor and a block punt return for a touchdown by Jonah Williams. They also had three straight two-point conversions and jumped out to an early 24-0 lead. Sacramento State rallied back before a fourth-quarter Cantwell touchdown clinched a 31-24 win for the Wildcats. It was homecoming and the Big Sky opener as the Wildcats returned to Stewart Stadium to open conference play against UC Davis. In one of the most prolific offensive performances of the season, the Wildcats rolled to a 41-3 win over the Aggies to kick off Big Sky play with a big win. After an opening Aggie field goal, the Wildcats put up 41 unanswered points, including 31 points in the first half. Rashid Shaheed got things started with a 67-yard touchdown reception then Treshawn Garrett broke off a 98-yard touchdown run, the longest play from scrimmage in Weber State history. In the second quarter, Zaquiel Harry returned to UC Davis punt 84 yards to the house, the fourth longest return in Weber State history. The Wildcats put up 430 yards of total offense in the win over the Aggies. It was back on the road the next week to take on Montana State in Bozeman. The Wildcats battled tough conditions and held off the Bobcats for a 25-17 win. Trey Tuttle made four field goals, and the Cats had two rushing touchdowns to pick up their first win in Bozeman in 10 years. After a bye week, Weber State was back home to host Southern Utah. Despite a 100-yard kickoff return by Rashid Shaheed, Weber State dealt with several injuries in the game and lost to the Thunderbirds 32-16. A new win streak began at Cal Poly as the Wildcats dominated the Mustangs 17 to three. The Wildcats had touchdowns by David Jones and Drew Batchelor on offense to take an early fourth quarter lead and then held off Cal Poly with great defense. Weber State had three fourth quarter interceptions by Connor Mortensen, Zaquiel Harry and Taryn Johnson to secure the win. The Wildcats turned back the clock 30 years to honor the 1987 Wildcat team when Weber State hosted Montana on October 28th. With the Go W helmets, Weber State put on a show and jumped out to a 31 to nothing lead midway through the second quarter. The Wildcat defense stepped up with an interception by Zaquiel Harry and a 23 yard interception return for a touchdown by Jordan Prater, who is named the Big Sky Defensive Player of the Week. Weber State beat the Grizzlies 41-27 to improve to 6-2 overall. As the calendar turned to November, the Wildcats faced two road games at Eastern Washington and Portland State. With the temperature in the low 30s and snow flurries falling, Weber State beat number 11 Eastern Washington for their first win in Cheney in nine years. The Wildcats had over 400 yards of total offense and held off an Eastern Washington rally as David Jones sealed the win with a 24-yard touchdown run in the final minutes. It was just the second time Weber State had defeated Eastern Washington, Montana, and Montana State in the same season. 
The Wildcats were now ranked 12th in the nation and the highest ranked Big Sky team in a national poll in 20 years. The final regular season road game was an offensive showdown for the record books as Weber State dominated Portland State 63 to 17. The Wildcats had a season high 583 yards of total offense, including 421 yards rushing, which is tied for the third most rushing yards in a game in school history. After an early Portland State field goal, the Wildcats scored seven straight touchdowns and jumped out to a 56 to three lead early in the third quarter. Rashid Shahid started the scoring with a 90 yard kickoff return for a touchdown, and he also caught a 60 yard pass for a touchdown in the second quarter. Weber State had seven rushing touchdowns led by Kevin Smith, who had 143 yards rushing, including a 75 yard touchdown run in the fourth quarter. Freshawn Garrett rushed for 88 yards and three touchdowns, including a 51 yard touchdown run. The final game of the regular season was a home game against Idaho State. The Wildcats needed to win the game to capture the Big Sky title. Idaho State scored first, but it was all Weber State after that. The Cats totaled 476 yards of offense, and Stephen Cantwell threw for two touchdowns and rushed for another, in addition to touchdown runs by Brady May and Kevin Smith. Two interceptions by Taryn Johnson helped seal the conference title for the Wildcats. It was Weber State's fifth Big Sky title in school history and ended the regular season at 9-2 overall, 7-1 in Big Sky play. For the first time in school history, Weber State was given a home game in the FCS playoffs as the Wildcats hosted number 9 Western Illinois at Stewart Stadium. Against the Leathernecks, Cantwell threw three touchdowns, two of which went to Drew Batchelor, and the Wildcat defense held off a late drive to secure the win. The next week, the Cats were on the road to Cedar City for a Big Sky Conference rematch against Southern Utah. The Cats fell to an early 10-0 deficit before dominating the Thunderbirds 30-3 the rest of the way. The Cats tied the game at halftime and then left no doubt in the second half as they shut out Southern Utah and allowed just 38 yards by the T-Birds in the second half. Cantwell threw for 299 yards and two touchdowns and rushed for 105 yards and another touchdown for 404 yards of total offense. It was then on to Virginia to take on the number one team of the nation in James Madison, who had won 24 straight games heading into the quarterfinal matchup. Playing on a Friday night on national television, Weber State stood right up to the Dukes and scored the most points JMU had allowed all season. The Cats opened the game with a Kevin Smith touchdown and took a 14-10 lead early in the third quarter after Cantwell found Smith for an 81-yard touchdown. Cantwell then scored a touchdown run and then found Drew Batchelor for an incredible 36-yard touchdown reception. The Cats led James Madison 28-20 with 3.14 to play before the Dukes rallied for the victory 31-28. It was a difficult way to end the season, but history had been made for Weber State as the Cats finished the season ranked fifth in the nation, the highest ranking in school history. Weber State also had won a school record 11 games, a Big Sky title, and two wins in the FCS playoffs. With all the accomplishments, a record number of honors poured in for the Wildcats. Weber State had 17 players earn Big Sky All-Conference honors, with eight named to the first team the most of any team in the league. Taryn Johnson was named Big Sky Defensive MVP, just the fourth Wildcat to earn that honor. He was joined on the All-Conference first team by Brady May, McKay Murphy, Yosua Opeta, Rashid Shahid, LeGrand Toia, Trey Tuttle, and Andrew Vollard. Zakiel Harry, Brady May, Jordan Prater, Landon Stice, and Jonah Williams all earned second team All Big Sky honors. Darren Bruce, Treshawn Garrett, Zakiel Harry, and Jacob DeMaio earned third team honors, while Drew Batchelor and Tyler Downs earned honorable mention honors. In addition, Weber State had eight players earn All-America honors, the most ever in a season. Taryn Johnson was a unanimous first-team All-America selection, and Andrew Vollert was a consensus second-team All-America pick. In addition, Zakiel Harry, Brady May, Yosua Opeta, Rashid Shahid, LeGrand Toia, and Trey Tuttle were all named to an All-America team. The 2017 season will never be forgotten at Weber State. This group of Wildcats, led by the 15 seniors, accomplished feats that had never been done in the history of the program. We are Weber.